So today I will talk about how to do about initial location, velocity, and acceleration. About initial, in here we need to know that initial is it means uh, the beginning of moving the object. We have the function in here that's the s t, and we know that initial should be about t equal to zero. So we just apply the zero in this function. We have minus 4.9 multiplied with the zero power 2. And uh, we have 80 multiplied with zero and 6. We know that the number multiplied with zero will become zero. So we can conclude that S0 equal to 6. It means that at the beginning, uh, the point in this location is, is on the 6 meter. That's it about initial location in here. So that's it, the first one we need to learn about initial. The next one, that's it about velocity. Velocity is mean uh, the different distance divided at different time. If we move the time very shorter and shorter, then we become about the derivative of the distance so that we have the formula of the, the velocity is about the first derivative of the function and we got about minus 4.9 we and we have the first derivative of the t power 2 is about um, 9.8 because we have number 2 on the power and we have t and we have the first derivative of t is about 80. It's about 80. And this is the function of the velocity. About acceleration. Acceleration is mean uh, the different uh, two velocity with the divide to different time. If the time is too small, they will become the first derivative of the velocity so that we have the function of acceleration equal to first derivative of the vt in here so we have the vt is about minus 8.80 and we have velocity is about minus 9.8 so this is the way we do about velocity and acceleration we just do about the relative of the each function and we can find the solution that's it the end thank you for watching